Welcome to the simple cookie clicker tutorial. I'm going to make a simple cookie clicker game in less than 30 lines of code. Before I get started, let me do a quick shout out to my members. I just want to especially note here Kevin, who has made it to his fourth month of membership. Thank you so much, Kevin. Note, I don't have a cool name yet for that group. Got to come up with something. And thanks to everybody who has uh, joined as a member, subscribed, commented, and uh, thumbs up uh, or liked, I should say. So click below to uh, join. Today's lesson is a cookie clicker game. So before we get that, um, to be honest, I didn't quite know what this was. Um, so I found this and it was, actually it was shared with me, I shouldn't say I found this. And basically you just click on this cookie and that's it. Um, I don't quite know what else it does. So I'm just gonna reproduce that part of it. I'm not gonna do any of the fancy animations or anything. Um, I don't, I'm not gonna do the per second thing. I'm just gonna show you how to make a cookie, click on it, and count the clicks. So let us go ahead and get started. Um, now, before I actually get started, I'm gonna need to make, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna need a cookie. Uh, so let me go back to that. And this is a site I always use. This is Open Click Clip Art. And I'm just gonna go ahead and search for cookie. And one thing about this site is that everything on it is Creative Commons Zero, which means that you can use it for any purpose and without attribution. Um, I use this with my students all the time. It's mostly clean. Once in a while, some weird stuff pops up, but uh, it's pretty cool. So this is the cookie I chose, but there are tons and tons of different options. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this, and then I'm gonna right click here, and I'm gonna save this image. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on my desktop, and I'm gonna call it cookie. Now. Note that this is a PNG file, as you can see up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. I'm gonna be using the turtle module, which I've used in a lot of my tutorials previously. And the problem with the turtle module is that you can't use PNGs. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go back to my desktop and I'm gonna go ahead and open this and see what happens. Okay, that's good. Now that is not what I want to happen. I want to be able to open with other application, but since I can't do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up something called uh, GIMP. And this is what I use to uh, basically edit all my images on my computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to File, Open Recent. And you can see I've already done this because I practiced this. So this image, uh, as you can probably see, is a little bit too large for what our purposes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Image, and I'm gonna go to Scale Image here, and I'm gonna make it 300 by 300. I'm gonna hit Scale, and that's about the right size for our screen. So I'm gonna go to File, and I'm gonna go to Export As. Now, the Turtle module only lets you use GIF files, I think WMF, I don't even know what that is, and bitmaps. So I'm gonna go with a GIF file, and I'm gonna call it naturally cookie.gif, because good naming is important. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just take the defaults, and now I have opened this file, I have changed it to a GIF, and I've saved it onto my desktop. Now I can close this. Now, note that I'm gonna be putting my Python file cookieclicker.py, it is also on the desktop. The image has to be in the same folder as the program. So let's go ahead and get started. As I mentioned, I'm gonna be using the turtle module, so I'm gonna go ahead and import that. And then I'm going to create the screen. And this is just stuff that you've seen, hopefully, in my other tutorials. If you haven't, uh, well, this, is, this should get you started as well. So I'm gonna call this uh, cookie clicker by at Tokyo EdTech. And then I'm gonna make the background color, I'll make that black. And then finally I'm gonna put win.mainloop. Okay, don't forget the parentheses, a lot of people do, and they message me and say, well, it's not working, and it's because you forgot the parentheses. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this, and let's see what comes up. Now unfortunately it comes up on my other screen, and so what, this is what I wanted. I have a blank screen with nothing on it. So, so far, so good. Okay, so let's go ahead and create the cookie. So if you haven't used the turtle module before, um, basically in the turtle module, I need to register the shape. So I'm gonna go win.register shape. And the shape is cookie.jp or .gif. What that does, now if I run this, nothing's gonna happen, nothing different. Um, if I run it, it just looks like that. All I've done is I told the system that there is a shape 
called cookie.gif and it's saved in this case it's going to be in the same folder now if you're on other computers like windows you might need to put the full path i don't know how it works um, but this should work uh, on most systems now i'm going to go ahead and create the cookie now to create the cookie i'm going to make a turtle object so uh, now i'm going to say cookie.shape and this is where cookie.gif comes in. I'm also going to do cookie.speed, even though I don't think I need it here. This is not the movement speed. This is the animation speed of the turtle module. Um, so let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. OK, pretty cool. Um, you can see we've already gotten our cookie on the screen. Note that by default, um, turtles pop up at the center of the screen. So that is 0, 0. Now it's a little bit big, so you can't see it on this particular screen, but you get the idea. And then what I'm going to do is just going to keep going, and we need to keep track of the number of clicks. So when the game starts, the number of clicks is zero. And to draw the clicks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another turtle object, and I'm going to call it pen. It doesn't have to be called pen, I just chose to call it that. And I actually don't want to see this turtle at all. So I'm going to hide it. I can still use it to draw a text, but I'm going to hide the actual turtle itself. I'm going to make the pen color uh, white. And I'm going to do pen.pen up because I don't want to draw a turtle trail. And then I want to go take the pen and move it to 0, 0,400. And those are the x, y coordinates. And the final thing I'm going to do, go ahead and do pen.write. And I'm going to use an F string here. If you, this is a, was introduced, what, Python 3.6, 7, something like that. So you should hopefully have that. So I'm going to put clicks and clicks. So basically, I just want to draw this text on the screen. And then I'm going to put align equals. And I want this in the center. I want the text centered. And I'm going to make a font change, font equals. And it's going to be, I'm going to use courier new. And it's going to be 32 in size, and it's going to be normal as opposed to like bold or italic. Notice here there are two right parentheses. I know I'll get a million messages about that. Uh, the outer one matches the right method, and the inner one matches this tuple. Okay, so let's go ahead and test it. Oh, very cool. And so we've already got clicks zero. Now notice, you know, of course, nothing happens when I click on it, and we're going to take care of that now. So all we got to do is create a function, and I'm going to call this uh, clicks. And I'm going to leave that blank for now, and it's going to give us an error, and I'll explain why in a second. And what I want to do is when I click this method, or when the cookie is clicked, I'm going to change clicks. So notice I use the global keyword here. So clicks equals zero. It's because it's out here in the global space and not here, not defined here in the function. I got to use it, the global keyword because I'm going to be incrementing clicks here in a second. Clicks plus equals one. And then what I want to do is I want to clear the pen. So I'm going to clear the text that's already there. And then I just want to go ahead and do this again. So I'm going to copy that because I am lazy. And then finally, the last thing, this is it, it's a very, very short program, is I gotta tell the computer what to do when I click the cookie. So cookie.onClick, and I gotta give it the function name, which is clicked. Notice I didn't put any parentheses. Now I'm gonna run this, and like I said, there will be an error, uh, but you'll, I'll explain it in a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the cookie, and you can see over here in my terminal, you'll see an error. It says function x, y. Clicked takes zero positional arguments, but two were given. And this is a default of the turtle module. When you use the onClick method, it automatically sends the x, y coordinates to the function. So we have to deal with that. So we just have to put x and y in here. And now we have a complete uh, cookie clear game. That's it. Uh, so beep, beep, beep. And there you go. Pretty exciting. Now again, I didn't put all the animations into it. I didn't put any you know, other, other stuff, but this should hopefully 
give you an idea of how simple it is to make this type of game. Now you can hear, I don't know if you can hear me clicking or not. Uh, to be honest, I'm already bored, but I will get to 100. And there we go. And that is that. Let me go over it real quick. Um, let me just count how many lines that was. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Uh, wow, 22 lines of code. How how uh, pretty cool is that? Um, so basically, we're using the turtle module. We set up the screen here, and that sets up the little the window. Uh, give it a title, set a background color. We got to tell the computer we're going to be using this particular shape. Again, this particular shape is in the same folder. It's in the same location on the computer as the Python file. We create our cookie and uh, just, you know, it's a Python turtle and it's a turtle module, turtle I should say. And we're using the cookie.gif that we created earlier and just set the speed to zero. I don't think I even had to do that so I could get this down to 21 lines. And again, we set clicks to zero when the game starts. And then we're gonna be using this pen to draw on the screen. And we just went, again, we hide it. We set the color that we're gonna be writing in. Pull the pen up because it will draw a line if we don't move it to where it wants it's supposed to be, and then write on the screen what we want to be written. And again, uh, you can change the font here. It's got to be something on your computer. And then we made a function called clicked. It takes two arguments, x and y, which are automatically passed by the onClick method. And basically, we just increment clicks, clear the pen, and then write again. And that is that. Um, well, fast and efficient. I hope you enjoyed it. Join, subscribe, like. Thanks so much. Take care.